Hi, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. And the film we're reviewing tonight is called Our Idiot Brother. And I absolutely loved, loved, loved this film. And I absolutely <laughs> hated this film. That aside, it stars Paul Rudd, and the, he plays the brother, and the sisters are played by Elizabeth Banks, uh, Zoe Deschanel, who we, we both really yeah. like, I mean, and um, Emily Mortimer. And I have to say, I app, this film was so, so good, so original, and so different. Okay, here's, here's what it is. Paul Rudd <laughs> plays this very, like, offbeat... Uh, prophet type character who's very unassuming and always says the wrong, the wrong things. Thing. Yeah, he's not because really a prophet. He, they, they, well, I say he's prophetic because he's, he, he dives into pe into people's secrets and just exposes them. Yeah, he's like... Like, yeah. like really not following social grace. Yeah, like he says everything at the wrong time. Sort of like what you do. But here's what... The, <laughs> For a Scorpio, you're a very unsecretive uh, Scorpio. <laughs> here's, here's, here's the problem with these movies. There's a spate of these movies coming out now. Uh, the Anne Hathaway film, all these oh, different relationship terrible. things. But what, what these writers have a smattering of psychoanalytic dri dribble that they've got in their own head that they put into these characters, and it becomes this, you know... You're this saying the film is popular affected? Psychology. The film is totally affected and totally... And that's part of the problem with it. You can see where it's going uh, miles ahead. At least I could. I loved it. I loved Why all the... Why did you love it? Well, first of all, I loved all the sisters. I thought they were so interesting. I loved their stories, their individual stories. Uh, I just love Paul Rudd in it. I, and I love the interaction. You I loved you didn't Shirley think it was Knight. Repetitive Shirley, and long? No, Shirley Knight plays their mother. And there's an incredible dog in it named... Uh, Willie Nelson. Yeah, but I love am I that whole pay $12 story. Twelve dollars to see a dog, you know. <laughs> I paid like twelve dollars to see a dog. That's not the point. The movie was about relationships. It, it was about the movie is a uh, hackney, growth. The hackney perspective of love again. Here we go again, with with all the different machinations and pain and suffering. Where's your heart? And torturing. And, 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 <laughs> I thought you were. what time of day? Yeah, I thought you were connected to the female part. I mean, you're the dude that's. I there. am. <laughs> You watch I'm connected to the female part of you. <laughs> <laughs> you watch Ice Dancing and you cry. Come on, what happened to you? I love this film. You know, it's an offbeat comedy and it works. Yes, maybe women would love this film more. But, you know, women have boyfriends, women have husbands, and if the boyfriends and husbands want to make the women happy, they'll go see Man, our idiot brother like, with them. I am like what I call myself the chick flick king. <laughs> the chick flick okay. Listen, you got to really listen to me okay, and not okay. him. This is a very interesting film. It was written by this director. No, he, he well, he didn't write it. His sister wrote it. The director's name is uh, Jesse Perez, and he did a great job. And out of four, five bagels, I am giving our idiot brother... Four bagels out of five. I'm putting lox, cream cheese, capers in it, on it, just to show you how much I love this film. One bagel dry. Are we really married? Uh, well, I don't I know. I mean, what? We're married is... like those people in the movie. I don't think so. Don't miss this film. It opens in theaters Friday, August 26th. Please listen to me and not John. Guys, we'll if they tell film. you they want to go see the film, tell them to go with their girlfriends. <sighs> what?